the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Welcome to our Blue Christmas reflection this afternoon. Hopefully you came prepared with a candle and a pebble. Uh, and if you've not, you can pause this video and get those ready, or you can join without them. This is somewhere to be if the idea of Christmas doesn't leave you feeling particularly merry and bright. Um, if the idea of celebrations make a grief all the sharper. And if people going around making their own social preparations make you feel even more lonely. We're joining together online um, and with others meeting in person at our buildings on the Movilla Road right now. And perhaps with that knowledge, and as we think about the Christmas message, you will find comfort and hope in knowing that you are not alone. We hope that this will be um, a safe place for you to be transparent with yourself and with God. A safe place to admit that maybe you're not okay at the moment. That maybe uh, what you're really feeling is sad, lonely, discouraged or even angry. This is a place for you to be real with your struggles and your questions. A place to express yourself with words or with tears or with silence. So we're going to hear some words of scripture. We'll pray. We'll take time to acknowledge our grief and offer it to God. And we'll pause to remember those who we've lost. And if you're comfortable doing so, um, as I pray these words, maybe you'd like to join me quietly in your own heart. Let's pray. God of mercy and love, we gather today as hurting people, bringing our pain, our sorrow and our confusion to this safe place. Please meet us in our darkness and give us freedom to struggle together as we seek your presence. We ask for strength for today, peace for the past and courage for tomorrow. Amen. Now let's hear these words from Psalm 139 that assure us that no matter how cut off we may feel, God who loves us perfectly knows exactly how we feel and what we think. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before. And you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you're there. If I make my bed in the depths, you're there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, 
Your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely this darkness will hide me and the light will become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. Darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. And when I awake, I'm still with you. In this time, we want to step away from the noise and the clamour of the season to spend some time in quietness. Sometimes we can fear quietness. If we shut off the noise, who knows what difficult thoughts or feelings might come to the surface. But in the safety of this place, in the presence of God, we have nothing to fear. So we'll spend a few moments in quietness um, to allow each of us to be honest with ourselves and honest with God about the state of our hearts and our circumstances and our feelings and to acknowledge anger, loss, hurt, confusion, loneliness, regret, weariness, whatever it is that we carry with us today. Let's be still. Hopefully you have um, a small pebble. I want to invite you to pick it up now. Unless you've been holding it, it should feel cold to the touch and hard. Our grief and pain can feel cold and hard and heavy. So I want to take a moment to imagine this pebble representing 
your hurt and loss. One day, Jesus said to his followers, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Rest for your souls. I want to take this opportunity to offer Jesus the burden that you carry. So that Jesus can share your burden. Jesus can um, take that burden from you and give you rest. So I want, to, I want us to visualize bringing this to the feet of Jesus. And maybe you'd like to set it just in front of your computer screen and maybe later on you want to take it and set it down outside or a bit of a tray or something something to represent bringing this to Jesus acknowledging its weight its coldness its hardness but handing it over Jesus thank you that you didn't call um, the ready, the lighthearted, Lord. You call those who are burdened and weary. So Lord, as we acknowledge our burdens, as we acknowledge our weariness, we hand it over to you and ask that with you we would find rest for our souls. Hopefully you also have um, a candle with you. And we're going to do this at hopefully around the same time as everyone gathered down at Movilla Road. We're going to light uh, this candle in memory of um, a loved one or loved ones whose loss we carry at this time of year. So we... Um, Call to mind those who uh, who you're missing, those who aren't round the table or at the other end of a phone uh, this year. And I will light this candle. We light our candles to remember those whom we have loved and lost. Their names are not forgotten. And we pause to remember clearly their faces, their voices, their bodies. We embrace and give thanks for the memories that bind them to us in this season of expectation, when all creation waits for the light. We remember them with love. May God's eternal love surround them. Maybe you'd like to pray that with me, actually. I'll say each line and you can repeat after me out loud if you're comfortable or just in the quietness of your own heart. We pray. We remember them with love. We remember them with love. May God's eternal love surround them. May God's eternal love surround them.
God of yesterday and today and tomorrow. We give you thanks for the gift of the ones that we have loved and that we have lost. And we entrust them and ourselves into your eternal, just and loving care. Generous and gracious God, we look to you for compassion and we thank you for your presence with us in this time. When we're overwhelmed by our burdens, we can easily forget that you never leave us alone. Your steadfast love never falters. And by joining together like this online, we find assurance and comfort that we do not suffer our longest nights alone. You have given us strength to live through this night. Give us the strength of your Holy Spirit to live through every night and turn us to reach out to those whose night is all so long. Grant that we may be your healing presence in their lives by bringing them your compassion and comfort that will assure them that they do not suffer alone. Amen. Grace and peace be with you.